how big is your stash? I'll show you. So these are my stash overflows. This is my bedroom stash overflow. This is my um, hallway stash overflow, waiting to be filed, but I very much fear that I haven't quite got room to file it. This is my um, bathroom stash overflow of fabrics that's just been washed. There's a few there at the top from Colville Fabrics. And then underneath, there are my latest fabric purchases from Walthamstow Market. And then in the bathroom, my bathroom stash is where I store my animal prints. I've got some um, shiny, shiny lycra. Um, I've got some like peachy rose pink leopard. That's t-shirt jersey that's like ordinary leopard. And then I've got... Um, some more up here this is really nice kind of faux suede with some stretch to it in like a mustard snake skin print and um, some more leopardy type ponty jersey at the top i've got coatings and denim which is a bit too um it's quite bulky to fit elsewhere and then this is where i store all my wovens Um, as you can see, they're loosely colour coded. Pinks and reds are at the top. Um, the middle one is some blacks, whites, and overflow from the blue and the red from the other two sections. So they're ma mainly wovens. Um, These are more wovens and here, these are my vintage fabrics. Quite a lot of them are curtains and I use them for making light lampshades. Um, so these are my green wovens, green and yellow wovens. And then in here we have fabric graveyard that's fabrics that I've decided I'm not going to use and they're waiting to be listed online to sell them um, houndstooth and plaid fabric mainly they're stretch fabrics in here but these aren't their, their wovens um, sweatshirting these are kind of um, what do you call a like party sort of clothes special fabrics um, down here we have t-shirting in that bin. Um, this is waiting to be listed online, stuff that I'm not going to use. Um, more coatings in here. Um, that's going to be used for a coat, corduroy. More sweatshirting. And in the bottom, this is my pattern double knit. And this one is velvet and this one's my plain double knit stash and then right in the corner that's where I keep my jersey scraps I hope you enjoyed that nice little uh, quick tour through some of my well that is my stash that isn't some of my stash that's what it is at the moment it is ridiculous it's out of control I don't know what to do um, in fact, actually, I've just found some more on the floor. There's some lace fabric down there. Yeah, fabric fa fabric everywhere that the eye can see. I do use it. It's not like once stuff has gone into my stash, it's never seen again. I just can't sew as fast as I can buy. I do try not to shop online, but I'm afraid I shop as a way of self-medicating a bit when I'm feeling low. So what's the one piece of advice you would give yourself? Um, if you could go back to when you started sewing. So the first piece of advice is one that I did actually give myself. I started learning to sew when I was in my early 20s, sort of late teens, early 20s, and I really kind of was crap at it because I'm the sort of person that rushes and I want to bodge it and I want to do things by eye and improvise and 
that doesn't work with sewing if you just try and vibe it then you finish up with a great big mess that finishes up with getting thrown away and this happened to me before and I got disheartened and stopped so when I decided I wanted to come back to sewing and try and learn this time I said to myself you are going to have to force yourself to be patient and do it properly and if, if you don't want to do it properly then don't bother doing it and that is the mantra that I've really stuck to and actually I have become really I'm really strict on that so if I put in a zip and it's not quite level at the waistline or whatever or a joint of set seam and it's not quite um, properly, properly aligned I do go back and unpick it and do it and the end result is that I tend to have garments that I'm really pleased with and I'm quite proud proud of and I really feel like I've been able to make good progress in my sewing as a result of that but I do think that um, sewing is how much you decide to finish your, your garments or how well or the level of effort you decide to put into them is completely personal and I think if people choose if they don't want to press seams and they want to make it so it's just good enough I think all power to you you know if you if you're happy wearing that and you feel proud of it then I think brilliant good on you for for doing it but for me I just um have become a little bit kind of I've made myself be, I forced myself to be methodical and I think it's I think it's paid off and actually I am going to be talking about being methodical with fitting issues because I ha have been having real problems I don't know if you can tell but I've realized that I've got a real fitting issue with my sort of bodice block and I'm going to try and sew a series of twirls and make various adjustments to try and crack the fitting issues rather than like I can wear this and it is just it's kind of good enough but when I sit down it sort of gapes at the front and um, it's got too much fabric at the back and at the neck and it's just I want to crack it I want to crack it so that every time I make a bodice I know that it fits as well as it possibly can so I'm going to be speaking about that in another vid Anyway, so that's the first piece of advice. The second piece of advice is super, super quick, and it's basically when you are sewing at the machine, if you think that something is wrong, then it is wrong. If you think that your stitching's gone off or you think that something's got caught underneath, then in my experience, 100% of the time it has. So you need to use your sewing spidey sense. When I first started sewing, it was very much like, I'll just sew this seam and I can feel something underneath but it'll probably be alright, probably be alright and it's not alright, you know, something's got caught, something's not working so um, if you think something isn't working it won't be, go back and check. Yeah.